Hey guys, Brad here, and we're continuing with Guild Wars 2, The Living World Story. We're continuing with Season 4, and this will be Episode 1 of All or Nothing, which is the fifth chapter in Season 4. So let's get started. I haven't even started playing the episode yet. Kate, it's me. Any word from Maureen? No, not yet. But don't worry. Sometimes she goes off alone when she feels troubled. Always has. Always comes back. I do have an update on our conversation at Sun's Refuge, though. I'm following up on the dwarves. Still convinced they know something about Glint's legacy? More than ever. I came to ask Ogden in person, but it seems the Priory isn't keen on a known thief roaming their halls. You seem fairly rehabilitated. Maybe they'll feel better if you show up with a chaperone. <laughs> Okay, so meet with Kaith. Join Kaith at the German Priory. Wow, I haven't been there in forever. That's way up here. Yeah, I forgot. There's no uh, closest waypoints down the mountain. Yeah, so it's been a while since I've been in this zone specifically. I remember all my characters I ran through this game. I leveled them all to max level. I went through every zone. I got every heart, everything, everything in every zone. But I don't remember the last time I was in the zone. It's been so long. That was a particularly long load screen. Before we go in, there's something I need to say. All that time I spent guarding the egg, watching over Irene as a hatchling in Taria. You raised her. But then she had you, and it felt like she didn't need me anymore. So I stepped away. Cave. No, let me say this. What's coming is dangerous. Irene is terrified. I can feel it. She's going to need us. Both of us. Then it's a good thing we're both here. Come on, let's go have that talk with Ogden. Here we go. I was going to say, not another long load screen. But that's all three signs. I'm due for a visit. Ogden, it's good About to... time you showed up. We're going to Thunderhead Keep. We are? To Glint's Dragon's Blood Forge. How else are we going to kill Krautatoric? A new Dragon's Blood Spear. You lost the first one? <laughs> Not now. For Orin to destroy the Crystal Dragon, Scion and Champion must first prove themselves. There's an extension of Glint's lair, protected in the mists. A refuge for her scion. From there, you can enter her trials. Oh, good. Oh, boy. More trials. Why didn't you mention any of this before? We were waiting for the signs. Glint's egg hatching, the Lich's death. And the sands of Glint's hourglass have begun to glow. Her scion's already in the refuge. Go to Orin, complete the trials. I'll get the word out and meet you at Thunderhead Keep with the pact. Hmm. Enter Glintslayer and find Orin. Okay, well, I've got to leave first. Oh. I guess I can go from here. So beautiful. Wow. screenshot of that just in case I choose to use it as a thumbnail wow our team did a tremendous job with this Glintz remains Aureen Aureen we haven't thought much about all of this from your perspective have we 
This legacy killed your mother, killed your brother, and that vision of it killing you. But I know one thing for certain. Glint would never tell you to do this if there was no hope. You're not alone. We'll all be with you. This isn't only on your shoulders. Well, if you're both ready... Oh. I'm here. Oh, I had to step off and step back on. I'll wait for you. Okay, this could be complicated. Begin the first trial. Welcome, Scion and Champion. If you're here, the final confrontation with Krakatoric is imminent. Hope can be powerful, but also dangerous. You must prove that you can strike as one. Next! A, a, a better world is waiting to be born. Hmm. Witness Glint's followers creating a resonance crystal. That made possible the dragon's blood spear. Creating the crystals, forging the spear. <clears throat> These acts required the channeling of powerful magic. You will see, Sion, that absorbing magic comes naturally. But the power, its temptations, they exact a price. Champion. Champion. This magic is powerful and dangerous. Share the burden of the soul of it. I guess I have to avoid those things. Oh, cool. Power has many uses, Sion. By choosing to share it and heal wounds, you strengthen your bond with mortals. Oh wow, there's more of them now. First there was two, now there's three. help that there's these circles that are on the ground as well. And I can't quite tell where the... I can't quite tell where they are. They're not outlined well enough. Yeah, every time I try to go in, there's circles, plus those. That's annoying. Well, that pushed me out before I even had a chance to maneuver. Anybody else feel like they just jumped through a bunch of hoops? When elder dragons gorge on magic with abandon, the world falls out of balance. We have no choice but to act. To, to, to use power responsibly is to know when and how to share it. 
and when not to use it at all. Now, you can continue to the next trial. Magic must be captured and stored before it can be used to your advantage. The, the crystal before you will absorb magic released by branded creatures. Are they gonna come at me? Oh. Okay. I gotta be careful to make sure I do it in this circle. So you gotta like stay confined around the crystal with the branded. We shall see how this captured magic can be put to use. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's more crystals. Oh boy, let's zoom out a bit so I could see more. Algatoric and his minions share a common resonance. This strength can also be a weakness. With, with, with the right resonance, crystal can not only be broken, but molded, shaped. How many charge the south crystal, which would be this one? Not gonna move. Get in the circle. <laughs> Ouch. Well, that one's charged. Now I have to charge the others. Love to get up. <laughs> See, this is the strange thing is that these, like, I have to stay in these circles, right? And of course, the monsters have push attacks. Of course, they do. Well, I have to keep them in the circles, but of course they have push attacks. I, I do not envy any melee users doing this trial. Defense, then offense. And then there's that push attack that... There's the AoE that knocks you down. Then there's the push attack that has no warning. I'm not seeing any ground anything with the push attack. Oh, 
power. And together you can direct the crystal's magic. That crystal looks cool. There we go. Whoa. Forged a weapon capable of piercing Karakatorik's armor, the Dragon's Blood Spear. Experience for yourself the power of the Dragon's Blood Spear. Use the Dragon Blood Spear against the Branded. <laughs> now this spear is like totally OP. Assuming it's here. Come on, Aureen, Slowpoke. Okay. It's a little buggy, those plates. Oh boy. Oh boy. There's a branded dragon. Kratoric's strength is absolute. His will inexorable. In him, you will meet your greatest fears. Summon courage. Marine, wait! We need to work together. Oh, she beat the dragon so quick. I can't use my mount, so I have to run. <clears throat> now, Glint Slayer looked really cool in Guild Wars 1. This looks amazing. Like, they've done a really great job. I guess, like, graphically, they could do a lot more now. Scion, you fear what Krakatoric might make of you, champion. You fear for her survival and the world's. throw the spear quite a few times like it's easier just to keep throwing the spear that's not you Aureen and it never will be might makes me right Dragon has to go down. Defense 
then off. Oh, I see. It slows you down. Gotta watch out for those tornadoes. <laughs> I'm just keeping them off me. See, this feels a little bit more natural. It's not easy, but it's more natural. It doesn't feel like I'm jumping through hoops, which is good. <laughs> I'm just keeping them off me. They almost die with one shot, but not quite. No. Your worst fears made manifest. Remember, work together, fight together, and triumph together. Now, I have a gift of understanding for each of you. Scion, my beloved child, there are things about ascension that can only be expressed between dragons. Champion, come forward and learn how this long journey began. Receive Glint's gift. With you, Champion, I share my true legacy and Krakatorik's greatest secret. Receive Glint's gift. Oh, I see. So the story is going to continue as I he step on it. saw the possibility of a world at peace. A world without strife between dragons and mortals. A world without him. Terrified him, he demanded I help prevent it from coming to pass. But, but, but where he saw doom, I saw a gift to the world. I, I believe in this future, this fragile, powerful hope. But what my daughter must do will seem impossible to her. You, you must carry that 
hope for her. Now, leave this place. I will open the way to Thunderhead Keep. Use the Dragon's Blood Forge, arm your allies for the battle of their lives, and face the Crystal Dragon. Oh, there she is. Oh, finally. I knew you'd have your hands full, but I didn't think it would take two days. It took two, two days. days? Wow. It felt like a fraction of that. Aurine, you feel different. I think we both are. We passed the trials. Ready as we'll ever be. Then let's go. They're waiting for us at Thunderhead Keep. Yeah, let's get out of here. I like it. What is Balthazar? I can feel him. Ah, right. You haven't met Orin in person. <laughs> Never expected to feel his presence again. And in a dragon. She's a very special dragon. I'll let you all get acquainted while I track down Ogden. Grotto. Oh, interesting. We're in the mountains. I was wondering when they were going to open up these mountains. Because it's just a huge gap on the map. Wow, look at this place. Impressive. What a wonderful job they did on this. And it's new zones to fill up that space too, which is great. Oh yeah, I can mount now. Commander, I take it the trials went well. Yes. That time he hasn't loaded in yet. I've seen better. Logan's here with the pact. Same with Rox and the Omicron. Saida too. She gave us a ride after I filled her in. The whole crew's gearing up for Qualcatori. Do I hear singing coming from the forge? The Zephyrite Choir. An integral part of the forging process. My people built this place. But the Zephyrites and Exalted have cared for it since the days of Glint. Hope everything still works. We've got an army to equip with Dragon's Blood weapons. Speak to the Forge Master, Helena. She'll get you started. Kaimi, how are you feeling? You look a little tired. See? I told you. You need to rest. Tell her, Commander. She never listens to me. She's doing fine, thanks. Gork, why don't you update the Commander on our progress, huh? We've been using the data from... the tracker. We... it... It's giving us way more than we expected. Kralk's vitals, the magic he's channeling, plus all the tracking data. 
We're seeing him take real damage from Glint's army, and every time we slam one of his rifts shut. Good. Spirits know we want him as weak as possible before we face off. Yeah, that's the only way to beat him. We were also able to evacuate several villages before his minions broke through. Every time you get the word out, you two are saving lives. We three. Oh yeah, Blish. Okay, but with that, we're coming up to 30 minutes now, so we're going to end it there, and we'll continue in the next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Thank you very much for hanging in there to the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell button so you know when I post the next video. And don't forget to comment and let me know what you thought of the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.